The other day I was looking at different types of cajons on the web, and I saw this is laptop cajon. Right away, I have asked Mino to send me one to test. And in this video, I'm going to show you why this cajon can be interesting for a lot of people. Felipe here from CajonMaster.com. I hope everybody is doing well. If you like reviews like this one, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Today I'm reviewing a different type of cajon. As I said before, the Mino Slaptop Cajon. And the model I'm reviewing today is the Turbo Slaptop. Right away, let's go to the Mino Percussion website and see the specifications. According to the website, this cajon projects the sound towards the audience. Near the bottom of the resonating body is a long rectangular bass port for a low tone development. On the top corners are two circular sound ports for a reactive snare touch with plenty of volume. Dual internal fixed sets of snare wires, like the ones we find in a snare drum. Each snare wire is positioned on the sides of the instrument. The snares react perfectly to soft finger rolls, ghost notes, and loud backbeat slap tones. The wires fan out against the inside of the walnut playing surface to give you a sensitive snare sound without any extra effort. Let's see. The body of this cajon is made of an eco-friendly medium density fiberboard, or MDF. And the plain surface is made of walnut wood that has an open sound that is loaded with warmth and depth. This cajon costs $139 in the US and 129 euros in Europe. As always, I have put the link in the description below with more info in case you want to buy it. So let's see how it sounds. I'm recording this review with four microphones. The ones I normally use here, the AKG C3000 in the top, the Shure Beta 52 in the sound port, and for the room sound, I'm using a pair of Behringer C2 overhead microphones. Now I'm going to improvise a little bit for you to listen how it sounds.
so much fun to play. It's an interesting instrument because you have three very different sounds. Start with the bass sound right on the middle of the instrument. It's very cool and I like the sustain of it. It reminds me the subwoofer cajon I reviewed not long ago. I think because of the sound port in the front and the walnut playing surface that gives that similar warm sound. The snare played on the sides, it's great. Very cool is max sound, and what impressed me the most is the sound separation. When you play the snare, you don't have any bass sound, and when you play the bass, you don't have any snare buzz on it. The mid-tone sounds like a bongo or conga. It felt very cool to play fills. It gives very nice option to improvise as well. It's very comfortable to have this laptop in the lap, especially with the rubber pads on both sides. The design is cool, and the plain surface made of walnut wood looks very nice. Overall, I think it's great. Sound-wise, I'm not going to say that it replaced the actual cajon or full-size cajon, but I think it can be played with the same technique. And I think it's good value for money. $139 is a correct price. I like it. It's very fun to play and I'm going to explore it more. If you like this cajon and want to buy it, you can use the link in the description below. Please leave your comment below with your opinions about this cajon and other cajons. And I would like to announce that I've released two new cajon courses, the Groove Course 1 and the Fuse Course 1. All the info about the courses and how to sign up you'll find at cajonmaster.com. And if you want to start playing the cajon today, you can check out my free starter course, link in the description below. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell to receive notifications of new videos. Thank you so much for watching, I will see you very soon in the next video. Bye!